Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 842 of Logo History. For this episode, we're going to have a look at The Children's Place and Steve Aoki. First, we'll start with The Children's Place. Here's the short bio those of you who don't know what The Children's Place is. It is an American specialty retailer of children's apparel and accessories that was founded in 1969. Their headquarters are in Secaucus, New Jersey. They currently have 1,085 stores in the United States, Canada, and Puerto Rico, as well as 90 international stores. Their website is www.childrensplace.com. So the Children's Place, of course, to be talking about COVID-19, um, let's read their note. Our response to coronavirus, our place is here for you. Family is at the center of everything we do at the Children's Place and Jimboree. And this holds true as we navigate through these uncertain times together. Over the last several weeks, we've wondered on precautionary measures to help ad address the safety of our customers and associates in our stores. Rest assured that during this time, health and safety is our number one priority. What to expect while shopping in stores? Social distancing reminders. Signage and floor markets that utilize best practices like standing six feet apart. Increased cleaning measures, frequent and rigorous cleaning of high traffic areas. Mon monitoring of customer traffic to help observe and manage social distancing. Shared facilities suspended. Use of fitting rooms, bathrooms, water fountains, and mesh backs temporarily paused. Checkouts with plexiglass shields. For an added layer of protection, sorry, for an added layer of protection plus handed sanitizer too. Associates with masks. For everyone's protection, we encourage customers to wear face masks too. Store hours vary. Please check out our store located for specific hours. For a quick shopping trip, for a quick shopping trip, live in your time inside with buy and on, buy online and pick up in store orders. Well, this is interesting. Partnering with Delivering Good. All any parent wants is the gift of being able to provide for their children. <clears throat> In an effort to give back to families and their children, the Children's Place and Jimboree has partnered with Delivering Good in providing local communities with essentials. Delivering Good is a 501c3 nonprofit supported by, excuse me, by new product donations from hundreds of companies in the fashion, home, and children's industries. To find out more information about Delivering Good, please visit delivering-good.org. Say thanks in color. Because we are all grateful for everyone in the, on the front lines, and showing gratitude is even better in color. Um, sorry. Because we're all grateful for everyone on the front lines, and showing gratitude is even better in color. Download and complete a coloring sheet, then post it on your social channels to share your thanks. Stay safe, stay connected. You can send them an email at customercare at childrensplace.com, or you can reach them out on their socials on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. Um, wow, now let's go check out their other clothes, like their other stuff. You know, we're, we're, we all came to this website for clothes, right? And this is where we see shirts, we see jeans, all graphic tees for $4.99 and up. Go to basics, all mix and max, all mix and max, <clears throat> all mix and match essentials, 50% off. Interesting. Legging love, all leggings, 50% off. Cozy, perfect ponte, embellished, legging jean, partnered, essential. Oh, whoops. Oh my god, what am I doing? Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> the uniform place. You're one stop. Sorry, you one stop shop for every uniform essential. Wow. Um, yeah, they got nice clothes, nice backpacks. You know, like it's for girls. This one is for the boys. Baby shark, doo 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 doo. -doo. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not funny. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to this episode, shall we? And now, without further ado, let's get started. 2002 to the present, there are the words the children's place in Cyan text. 
And finally, we'll move on to Steve Aoki. Here's the short by those of you who don't know who Steve Aoki is. He is an American record producer, musician, DJ, music executive, and entertainer who was born on November 30th, 1977 in Miami, Florida. He has been active since 1996. He has collaborated with other producers, singers, and musicians such as Louis Tomlinson, Red Fu, BTS, The Bloody Beatroots, Will I Am, Lil Jon, Laidback Luke, Afrojack, Anger Demos, Alan Walker, Kid Cudi, Travis Barker, Blink-182, Linkin Park, Flux Pavilion, Mike Shinoda, Kid Ink, Don Diablo, 3R Legend, and Blackbusters. His website is steveaoki.com. So, <clears throat> Neon Future 4 is here. Yeah, it's been out since April 3rd, as it says right here. I think this is supposed to be like the final part to the Neon Future series. Because... Because there was Neon Future 1, Neon Future 2, Neon Future 3, and now this is the fourth installment of the Neon Future series. And I think it's the final one. Is Neon Future 4 the final installment of Neon Future? Yes, I was right. This is the fourth and final installment of Steve Aoki's Neon Future compilation series. And this is probably the album with the most amount of tracks, you know, from Steve Aoki. Yeah. I also I also like his debut album. What was it called? Was was it Wonderland? Was it called Wonderland or something? Yeah, yeah, it's called Wonderland. I really don't like Steve Aoki Presents Colony all that much. I really don't like his fourth album all that much, because, like... Like, producers like DJ Mustard can make a hip-hop album like this. Like, like, why did Steve Aoki really experiment with this? Like... Like after this, I um, I I almost called him a sellout, cause like, cause like, like, you know, like his EDM stuff is much better than his hip hop stuff. Like, it's like, you know, like it's like as if he was like the chain smokers, you know. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, like all these tour dates right here from April. Uh, these are the, these were the tour dates for the Neon Future Four Color of Noise tour. Um, I believe um all like most of these tours have been canceled. Like all like all of these uh concerts in the tour I think have been canceled. Um, yeah. Steve Aoki Kick Face VIP Package. Hmm. Oh god. <laughs> Kick Face. <laughs> Kick me. Okay. Oh my god. Um. I also like the song he did with, uh. Rehab was it called flight? Yeah, I think it's called flight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, like I remember Steve Aoki, you know, releasing a song with Rehab entitled Flight, I think it's called. Yeah. Yeah, um and and now there's the Aoki Foundation. The Aoki Foundation's primary goal is supporting organizations in the brain science and research areas with a specific focus on regenerative medicine and brain pres preservation. Ooh. Our vision is to one day see a world where degenerative brain diseases do not exist and science and technology play a direct role in extending the healthy lives of ourselves and our loved ones. The fund also supports humanitarian causes dear and near to DJ uh, or produce. 
Sorry about that. Uh, the fund also supports humanitarian causes dear and near to DJ slash producer Steve Aoki, such as disaster relief and animal rights. All right. Um, let's just go back to this episode, shall we? Also, you can go follow him on Twitter, and you can also check him out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Yeah, but let's just go back to this episode, shall we? And now, without further ado, let's get started. 2012 to 2014, there are the words Steve Aoki in Light Blue 3D Text. 2016 to the present, there are the words Steve Aoki in Black Text, with the letter O in the word Aoki being a dead face. Alright, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 843, House of Carters and Zed. Also, be sure to like the video, share this with your friends, and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss another video from me as we're on the road to 4,000 subs. Bye for now!